Hi, Aaron. I heard you set up continuous integration for your cloud app. Uh, why did you do that? Well, integrating new code can be a painful process, say if a build breaks or new code causes a unit test to fail. So the thought is to do it often and automatically to minimize that. That's all CI or continuous integration is. Right. That's what I've read in the Dora research report as well. Uh, could you show me how it works? I'd be happy to. All right. How can I try out your continuous integration? Well, my application lets the user take notes and store them in the cloud. You told me before that you've used it. Is there anything you'd like to change? Yeah, uh, the app lets me save an empty note. Uh, that's a little confusing. I'd like to prevent that. Sounds good. Clone the source code to your machine, open it in your editor, and implement your change. All right, doing so now. And Aaron, I have to admit, I cheated and peeked at the code ahead of time. I think the code should check for the length of the note here and not save the note if the length is zero characters. All right, that sounds reasonable. Now, in order to get this change into the main branch, we'll push it to a feature branch, then create a pull request on GitHub. All right, doing so now. Mm -hmm. And done. I'll just take a minute to review your commit. By the way, I'm using GitHub, but you can set up CI with Bitbucket, GitLab, and most other repo providers. You can even do it on a local build server in your office. There's your pull request. My continuous integration process will now build and test it. Looks like it failed. Let's see. Everything compiled, but a unit test failed. Uh-oh. Uh, how to fix that? This is actually what we want. If there is a bug in a commit, the process should stop us from merging it into the main branch. We can just fix the failing test, commit, and push to get moving again. OK. Uh, looks like it threw a null pointer exception here uh, when the note is null instead of an empty string. Uh, I think this here will fix it. OK. I'll then run the tests uh, to make sure that my fix is all right. Looks like it passed the tests. OK, uh, now what, Aaron? Now all we need to do is push the fix to that same branch, and the build should pass. OK, doing so now. There, all done. All right, let me check out your pull request again. Looks like the build and test worked. Well done. Yeah, I probably should have run the unit tests before I submitted my code the first time, huh? We live and learn. Everything passed, so I will now merge your code into the main branch. This continuous integration process looks useful. Uh, it prevented my bad code from being merged into your application's main branch. Now, how can I set that up in my code repo, Aaron? We can walk through that no problem. All we'll need to get started is a target repo and a build configuration file. OK, I've got my repo here, uh, but not a build config file yet. That's fine. We can start by enabling the Cloud Build API. Then as a starting point, I can send you a quick cloudbuild.yaml that just runs our unit tests. Great. Uh, I received the cloudbuild.yaml file. It looks like it's running the unit tests here on these lines. But how do I trigger the build automatically? For that, we'll need to set up a Cloud Build trigger. To do that, we can go over to the Triggers page in the Cloud Console, select your project, and click Open. Click Connect Repository. Then we'll need to sign in and install the Cloud Build GitHub app, which does the actual work of building and deploying your app. After that, we're able to pick a repository and make a trigger. OK, uh, what kinds of triggers can I make? Uh, can I pick which branches should trigger a build? Yeah, absolutely. You can specify the name of a branch or even use full regex matches. Very cool. What if I want to make sure my whole Cloud Run service works, uh, not just individual unit tests? You're right. While your unit tests ensure that a part of your project works well on its own, we can use integration tests to make sure that one or more of these parts work well together. 
Ah, interesting. Uh, so I've got my unit tests here already. Uh, how would I set up an integration test of my whole Cloud Run service? Now that depends. Sometimes the parts that you're testing against are small and lend themselves well to being mocked up for a test. Other times the parts are so large that it's more manageable to test against a live service. Hmm. I can think of a few situations where I'd want to set up an integration test against a live service, like you said. Uh, do you have any docs on how to set that up? Yep, absolutely. We have microservice sample repos with a test cloudbuild.yaml that deploys a cloud run service, runs some integration tests by making HTTP calls to that deployed service, and then tears it all down. I'll send you the link to the Java one, but we also have Python, Node, and Go versions. That sounds perfect. I'll take a look. Thanks again, Aaron. Anytime, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for Aaron or me, please add them in the comments. Also, let us know in the comments if there are other serverless topics you'd like to hear about in future episodes. See you next time. Mm -hmm.